Good morning, Danny. Hello. And hi, what are you up to uh, this morning? Well, we're sort of getting a record collection together for our son, Ken, and this is the 45s, the singles. Well, it's not all of them, is not it? Not all of them, but we've got this again over in the cupboard over there, as well as a lot, a lot of long plays. So what we're trying to do is, uh, these are sort of like the older ones, or without the covers, sorry, and we've put these into the, the frame here, which we had one, and the others we've been storing like this, or Karen would find a box and make it reasonably um, comfortable for the records. So the other day, when we were down the resale centre, I found two of these, which will help Ken immensely, we hope, to sort records rather than keeping them like this. Well, this one was pretty much just a clean through brush and it's come up okay. It's got a, as you can, it's got age on it, but not much you can do about that. It's called patina. Rodeo patina. And this one was sort of a bit more stylish, got handles on it and numbers as you can see, which I've they were coming off and I've just glued back down. And also, it had the vinyl look for handles. Well, it only had the one handle. So, I had a length of timber out there, which looked, Where's the timber? Which looked like that. Just had a bit of stain on it and was about that long. Mm -hmm. So, it had just been sitting around in the shed. So. I rubbed it back, filled up the holes, stained it, and screwed it on with just a couple of screws. Oh, yes. Very and clever. That's how it's come up. So again, just different styles of stands. What you do with them, you can put them in the cupboard or put them on the shelf if you want. But probably they'd be better. That's how they should be. If you, if we had covers, we'd have them all in covers. But unfortunately, when you source this stuff, you um, you don't get covers. Who's that boy on that cover there? Tell oh, us about him. Who's Wack, he? Wacko Jacko. He used to play football for um, Geelong and Melbourne, I think, back in the oh, early 80s, was it? I don't know. No, not at all. But anyway. He was one a hit wonder? Yeah, he's a bit of a card, but um, he danced around and made, him, made a fool of himself, but he was an entertainer, so that's what they all do, don't they? Who? Entertainers. AFL footballers. Oh, and entertainers, dance around and make fools of themselves. Oh. So that's about it for like, today. Like you. No, um, I'm pretty level-headed. <laughs> Try to be. <laughs> Okay, so well, okay, and what on earth is he going to do with all these 45s, really, that we've been collecting? Maybe one day a jute box, do you think? Yeah, yeah, if he could try. We've, we've got some, um, what have we got? We've got Sinead there. We've got, oh, Jennifer Warren and Bill Medley. We've got Tony Childs. So it's got a variety for him. Gary Moore, no idea who he is. Oh, Bowie, there you go. Mm. So there's what? stuff for him to play. Old Joe Cocker, good on him. Is he still alive? Oh, probably. So there's enough there for oh, him. Oh, there's my favourite. Wilson Phillips. Oh, yes, I like that. Hold on. Yes. yes, so yes, Karen had that up loud when we got it in. But yeah. Very hard to get nowadays, and we're only talking probably three or four years ago. We we were really um, trying to source stuff, but now you hardly see it anymore. Now I think collectors and traders probably don't we love traders, darling? No, we don't like traders <laughs> at all. So uh, yeah, all right. Oh wait a minute. Judy and Wayne aside. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Hello, Judy and Wayne. <laughs> They're our favourites. Yes. Okay. Yes. See you later. Bye.